Well, before that, we have a quiz for those addicted to the microchip as Brian J. Ford introduces Computer Challenge. that separates the sheep from the goats and the conscience from the moral scruples. In Computer Challenge, the business game, two otherwise normal and obliging teams become transformed into avaricious, grasping rivals in consideration of a token £50,000, which they can use to better themselves, or if the whim takes them, to trap their opponents with a dirty trick. The moves are entered into my moronic associate, the business game computer, which keeps a score of the ever-changing chance element in the contest. But not until the very end will we know for certain who's won. But first, let's say hello to the contestants from Mummer's School, Richard Booz and Stephen Black. Hello, Richard. Stephen, you're doing A-levels at the moment, and what then? Well, hopefully to go to university and perhaps study becoming an accountant. Going to business? Yes. Yeah. So your mental processes are tuned up for the game? Yeah, hopefully they're coming to play. We'll soon see. And what about you, Richard? I'd like to become a barrister. You have the wing collar. I do. And you're going to be called to the bar? Yes. I've been hoping to be called to the bar myself by now. I wonder what time they're open. If you'd like to settle in and put on your red headphones. And facing them, two people who should know more about probability theory than all the rest of us put together. Our first team of bookmakers, Tim Knighton and Janet Golding. Nice to see you both. Uh, Janet, how did you become a bookies manager? Oh, it was a summer job originally. As a student in school? Yeah. And you just haven't left yet? No. Good. You enjoy it? Yes. And what about you, Tim? What's your area of the business? I'm actually an accountant. Um, my basic uh, job is looking at uh, the operation of the company as a whole. Oh, well, that's what you've got to be doing in the game anyhow. Right. right. Settle in and put on your yellow headset. <laughs> At the outset, each team only has assets in cash of £50,000, but that will, of course, quickly change. They have just 30 seconds to make each move, so if you're ready, teams, the first round starts now. OK, profits, no cost. Where's the ice cream? <laughs> nice man. Profit. OK. All right, no cost option. Right on. Keep it safe to start with. Mm. starts the profits rolling in and their opponents match their move say the bookie always wins in the end. That's a six. Not bad. Not too bad. You go for a high one. Ten. No, 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 for ten. 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 Go for the 
Yes, I suppose. Yes. Ye. Mind you, the industrial espionage option may well rebound against them later on. Good stuff. So, for the next few months, the teams kept neck and neck with their profit income, but by month five, the six formers are well ahead in assets. Okay. Right on, bro. 60,000 profits, sir. Right. Yes, man. That's good. That's good, yes. Yeah. I don't know, though. If it's still ahead of us. Yeah, quite a bit. Five. No, it's less than it was before. It was seven. Five, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay, boy, share it. Sell. Sell, sorry. <laughs> Alright. Down there, come on. Hang on. Whoop. Alright, sell. Keep going. Alright, yeah. Good old day. Alright. We're gonna get a lot there. The 30, so sorry. They give us 30 tricks, baby. Cheers. Or do we want to use it a dirty no. trick at this stage? No, you're quite right. No, we've got to set up a set very close but the bookmakers are ahead now. <laughs> <You got away. laughs> That's rough. Okay, it's very rough. So, so they didn't have any old, did they? So shares. Who's the chairs? No, thank you. Now we're in trouble. <laughs> So both sides have decided against dirty tricks, and month 15 was the last chance they had to use that option. It's a straight run for the line now. <laughs> indeed. 300 in banking. Help. Right, 300 in banking. Yeah. 
waiting for us. Yeah, it must be. Well, I think we're going to have to... Put some in um, property then, don't we? Yep. We reckon half a million. Um, <laughs> it hasn't gone down for a while, has it? So, it's all right. All right. It's only banking again, I think. Put it all in here. Yeah, go on. Let's see if we can do it. Again. <laughs> Three seconds. Pitching it's for the viewers. <laughs> oh no. Middle East contract has called up this again. What did you say about game of five moments? <laughs> it was nice while it lasted. Oh no. Property shares. Life is going to get difficult now. We're not going to... 200,000. Extreme. Right, sell shares, Steve. I think I will. Oh. Get down there and sell. I can see oil coming up as a crash. Ooh, we are a way behind. It's only 200,000. What's that amongst friends? Ooh, very nice. <coughs> Alright, buy shares. If the buy here. 500,000 banking. You reckon? Yes. What? Oh, keep going, keep going. the scenes of a television studio biting their fingernails, how close that was. Now, of course, it isn't the end of the game, because we still have to see if any last-minute shares are going to crash. So first, let's come to the red team and see what luck they're in for. <coughs> yes, it has. Rough, but it's better so that will take them down below the million mark. Now, of course, they have to sell their shares. Oh, the five eight seven. Very nice. And that is their final total, which will be above the million mark. Now let's see what happens to their opponents. Okay. Well, close. that was a quicker response. £141,000 down. Now the computer must sell their shares. Well, the red team by a whisker, £1.2 million. Commiserations to a, a very hard-fighting yellow team, and congratulations to this week's winners. rests blood. May I say that we must now take a last look of course at our leaderboard to see what last minute changes that is going to make to the long term prospects of who's going to win the Concord tickets. As the pace quickens don't forget to join us in the studio at the same time next week for the next in our series of Computer Challenge. Till then, good night.